Hello there, I'm Nigel Gribbis, I work at IBM Power Systems. In this hardware management console version 8 crash course, we've now got to part 6 where we're going to upgrade the HMC itself and the firmware on the Power 8 machines. First, we'll check what version of the HMC we're currently at. So, this is 840 and it's got 1588 as the latest service pack. So we click on the HMC update function, uh, bring that up a little bit, and hit the next. We've got a FTP server. I've downloaded three service packs all into one directory, so we're going to have a look at those in a minute. It needs the FTP server details in here. It's on my machine for stock reasons. It's called Purple 3. Secret password, and then we put in here the directory where I dump the files. I was logging into the FTP, looking at those files, deciding if they're OK for it to install. Does some checks on them, so it takes a little while. OK, there's the three. The first two I've installed already and had to reboot after each of those. But I'm going to select that 1601 and hit the next and confirm. I want to proceed right now with the finish button. You can see in the uh, pop-up there, there's a, a timer running, 10 seconds now. It's going to take a little while to, again, check those files, just in case they changed. And uh, then we'll get on with the installation. It's worth watching that little um, elapsed time there. When that stops is when it's actually finished. Sometimes it's not so easy to notice that it's finished. Okay, it's uh, happy about these. The... Uh, there's the 1601 that we asked for, it's an ISO image, and I think there's a couple of other little files. It's installing the packages, this is good. Unfortunately the, the rest of the information slides off the bottom so we can't actually see what's going on unless we drag down that little bar there. Doesn't take too long, maybe uh, three minutes or something like that. Notice we're now over the two minutes elapsed uh, progress time. Okay, got up to 2.24, 2 minutes 24 seconds, and it went down to 1 minute 19 seconds. I can't uh, say I understand that. It said uh, successful at the bottom, and it says it really wants to reboot now. As we've probably got a pair of HMCs, we're probably okay to do that right now. So that's closed our window. I'll reboot the HMC. It'll actually uh, reboot itself. And I uh, skipped a bit of time, about five to six minutes or something, for it to boot up. And there we have the 1601 is now installed. So that's the HMC updated. And we can see on the update panel here that it doesn't record which um, particular fixes you've got. Uh, that's over here on the HMC management. We hover over the, that line. Uh, down in here, I'll scroll to the bottom, um, we have um, our older uh, machines in here, the Power 6 and Power 7s. They have their own uh, streams of software in here. And you can see the AL730, 740s, and the even older uh, 350. Up in here, where um, the service level for the system firmware is 840. Although, if you look at this one here, as our Ruby machine at 850, the 840 firmware didn't come out at the same time as the others, and we're expecting that in another 10 days, so I'll have to do an upgrade at that point. Here, though, we got the 840 and is, if you like, uh, subversion 33. I checked on Fix Central and 56 is now out. And looking through the details there on Fix Central, there's a great big document you can you can see for the README and loads and loads of uh, exciting new features that we actually want to go and test, and uh, probably increase the reliability of our machines and all sorts of things. So I'm going to upgrade our line machine in here. It's an S822, as you can see here. So if we now select a button, 
Uh, the things we're interested in is the, these two in here. Um, if you were going from 840 to 850, then this would be a new release. But we're adding fixes to our current release. So we're going to take this one uh, here. To me, these both be fairly similar, but that's the difference between the two. When we go into here, it's going to do this system uh, uh, readiness check. Uh, let's make sure that you haven't got any ghastly um, current problems with the machine, that, in which case it will refuse to uh, upgrade you because that may aggravate what you've already got going wrong. So we're going to click on here. Okay, so we're going to select the uh, start the internal wizard and uh, FTP site, that was lucky. We can actually get it go straight to the IBM website um, if you on the internet. Uh, very few people are very directly on the internet with the HMCs, but um, it could be there. And uh, my machine is actually called Purple3, root user, and uh, my password, let's hope I can get that right. Um, Accessing mounted disk no I don't that and that's the wrong place. Oh that's the last time I did something. So my directory is now this one here. And we'll okay that. It'll go off and look in that directory for what's available. Okay, that's the uh, internal readiness check, no errors, that's good. This is a good sign, it used to worry me a great deal. Uh, but it's no errors, not errors found. Then we're going to be asked, do we want to carry on? Okay, now when we do upgrades, they come in various flavours. There's non-disruptive upgrades where we can just add them and the new functions become available. There are some that are disruptive, which means we have to power off. Um, uh, and uh, to get those things uh, activated. And there's some of are called deferred, where we can add them and they'll be picked up on the next reboot. And you are encouraged to actually do a reboot in a reasonable amount of time because you may want those uh, extra RAS features. I've made sure what, that my line machine has all the virtual machines taken off it, so we can do a reboot if necessary. So we'll do the next and carry on. Don't do accept it. So I'll <laughs> I've got a lot of choice, um, and it's warning you in bright fluorescent red in here that this will be a disruptive install. Okay, now I've only selected one machine in this case, so it's only going to do it on the one machine. Uh, this means that I think you can do it on multiple machines at the same time. We haven't got hundreds of machines, so we tend to do it one at a time. It's telling you here to stop your applications while we're doing this operation. Need to uh, select that one there and then hit the finish button. And it's asked me again, okay, to start the disruptive operation. The answer is yes. So here it's going to back up some of the profile data so that uh, it has to be safe. And it needs uh, another okay, so we'll do that. The HMC then proceeds to power off the Power 8 CPUs. Well, it did warn us that it's going to copy all the files down from the HMC to the service processor. Uh, they all have uh, very odd names and various sizes. It activates those updates onto the FSP. The FSP is actually a power processor. It's one of those embedded power processors, uh, very popular in the industry. Um, it's actually running a cut-down version of Linux inside it, but that's uh, by the way. It then restarts the FSP so that it's running the new code. And part of that is uh, actually putting the uh, new hypervisor code um, onto the machine as well, ready for the Power 8 process to be powered up. Uh, the HMC shows the new firmware level, and then it powers the machine back up. This all took 24 minutes. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to force you to watch all that. I'm going to cut a big chunk out of the movie when we get back to the uh, finish point.
So we can see the whole thing is completed, all the updates, and it took 24 minutes, not 34. Well, it's nice to take less time than you were expecting. I guess if you went away for your lunchtime, you may come back and uh, left it too long. But anyway, we're all done. This looks good. And uh, we powered back up, and we can see the 56 has been installed. Click OK there. And is asking, do we want to do something else? And the answer is no. Well, that's the end of a video about upgrading the HMC and the Parrot firmware. Part 7 will be looking to service management, where we'll be looking at HMC recorded events on the machines and what we can do about those and fix them up. If you like this video, then please click on the light icon below.